I'm gonna work harder than anybody else. I'm gonna keep working, bruh. I just ate, I was tired. I was about to lay down, I got work tomorrow. I'm like, I do videos tomorrow. <laughs> For y'all niggas, we all 700, or wh how many, whoever and whenever and how many ever watch this, or these, cause these, this is just the third or fourth video I'm making tonight. I'm gonna make like 30, 20, 20, 30 more videos tonight. I appreciate y'all. If you like the if you like the video, if you comment on the video, you do whatever, man. I'm gonna keep making these shits because you know why? The grind don't stop, man. Like, I know this shit is gonna pay off. Niggas be telling me, niggas be in the barbershop telling me, flip ain't on this, flip ain't about that, man. Shut the fuck up. Ain't it so sad what we do for entertainment? Yeah, I know is, that boy be we were, uh, back in the day, wasn't it just dream like team and them. gossip on reality TV shows? Like, ooh, she tried to That's take, ooh, oh, she did that, and she was talking to him behind my back. And like, but this that is was, what this is as well. This no, this is like an extreme version I, I, of I, I, no, no, no. We have now graduated to physical confrontation, yeah, and there, it's Yo, not even like there's a conflict. I was off topic at the beginning of this video, but let's get back on topic. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm sick and tired of seeing shit about these two individuals. I feel as though... Before I even watch what they about to say, I feel like this this shit has been dragged out. I feel personally, I'm not in a relationship, but I feel like for mental and um for the sake of their well being, I think it would be better off for them to split apart. But you know, niggas gonna do what they gonna do. It has nothing to do with me. But for this shit to hit social media like it is, and for it to be considered entertainment, I think it's it's setting a bad tone and and, and leaving a bad taste. For the for the in the mouths pause of the youth, cause niggas is gonna see this shit and think it's cool, bro. This shit is not. That shit is not it. Entertainment, entertainment purposes or whatever else, this shit is not it. Point blank, period. But that's just how I feel. You feel me? Uh, at the end of the day, they are grown, consenting adults. They're gonna do what they're gonna do. But yeah, consequence for it. Like, how many times have we seen these two swing on each other mm -hmm. on camera? Swing on each other, seeing the, rip, the ramifications yeah, of niggas know, bro, swinging on each other. Right, Yo, remember? You know I remember? I think it was it just recently because this is this is videos old. Just recently, it was uh him him and Chris Brown got into it and they violated Chris about his his situation he was in, and it wasn't really that much different. Like I ain't gonna say him and Ree was just fighting all the time, but it was just a situation where she hit him, he hit back, and it was an altercation. And you feel me? Uh. He was wrong. He admitted that. They are friends now. That shit is long in the past. I hate to bring him up because niggas always bring him up with anything domestic happens, and I think that's sick, my nigga, but unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? They tried to get him out of here and, and tarnish his, his reputation and career, uh, which I think to a degree was kind of to be expected. Like, unfortunate, like, when, when a woman hits you, bro, you kind of got to, like, just get away. Like, okay? I know it's not easy. Unless they're coming at you with a blunt object, I'm a firm believer. If a woman is coming at you with a gun, a knife, a bat, something crazy to where she can really hurt you or harm you, my nigga, you are all right to defend yourself. If she hits you, my nigga, and it's not something like like immediate, like you driving or some shit, bro, get out of there. Like if you walking or you're in a club or some shit, or you're just out in the street or you're just in the house, nigga, leave the house. Leave the club. Leave the, you know what I'm saying? Just dip. Because at the end of the day, it's not gonna, it's not going to be favorable towards... Dudes, regardless if you're in the right, you're in the wrong, whatever. It's just not going to be favorable to do it. Now, I'm not saying realistically, if somebody hits you, sometimes people just react. And niggas got, and women and, and men in general, whoever, like, y'all need to understand, bro. People are going to react. You cannot tell somebody how to react. Like, you can pluck somebody and if they slap the shit out of you, you can't be mad that they slap the shit out of you. Like, you can't tell somebody how they should or shouldn't react. That's not realistic. I have him off camera and nobody sees Oh, uh, I just went on a little rant. No, no one, no you one. Just wake up. Oh, it's no funny. Uh, yep, Christian yep. beat him in the back of the head with a fucking bottle. Hennessy again. bottle. Uh, I'm getting my glass out. You can't just rub it like that. I'm not rubbing it. I'm getting it out. Let's just move Me on. He should have went to the hospital, my nigga. Having a couple chuckles about it. So, you know, you do the exercise with like. Shorty got hit, dragged, or whatever, bro. Both both of them, both parties. But then are I be seeing Blueface also do crazy stuff, too, and I'm like, yeah. But it's not, it doesn't matter. It's not, it's, it don't, but I be like, damn. But I will say this, man. They, Blueface and Krishan Rock, most toxic relationship I've ever seen. Not most. Come on. <laughs> the niggas stole the drag. Hey, the bleach music in the back of that? Yo, shut the fuck up.
niggas threw the bleach music on the background. Reality started was on OnlyFans first, yeah. and he created that. And in, in that, how he met Krishan is that she was a part. She was of a that, part of that man. shit, yeah. And Krishan, massive athlete. People don't know this, man. Great massive. athlete, had a potential. At least people think that. He's very pretty. Dig a little bit more deep into her past. Very troubled past. Uh, her father in and out of her life. She was actually homeless at nine. Crazy. So when they got together, man, it was only a matter of time before things got a little outrageous, man. So she then, athlete, as they got wow. together, she's on the show. She gives into these back and forth of her baby mom. Driving up, ba baby, e. who's basically baby mom. Yeah, oh, man, it. toxic, man, yeah. toxic. So I told, I told him, we're not doing that. We're not doing the hugging on the You're not touching nobody, none of that. Right? Right? Did that. Don't touch nobody. If you had a production, you had a show, right? That's what you claim. You don't touch nobody. Drives up the rating, man. Just drive that motherfucker up. Blueface like, man. Blueface, baby. You want to get this money? Signs her to a deal. And then from that moment on, it gets like so progressively worse. So first, bro, Wack 100 was like, bro, you're done. I'm, I'm packing you up, bro. You are, you are out of here. You ain't really on this shit no more. Yeah, he was, he was... I said this nigga talked on the phone, I forgot. This nigga was a fucking rap star or some shit. I just knew it is blue faces, man. He's an entertainer. You ain't really on this like shit. Like full fledged. He dropped you a week ago. Two weeks ago. Oh, oh. He dropped you. Nigga talking about this. Oh shit, niggas had the cops. What's this? What's this? He did. And you explain to her. Got a rapper rock to say, I don't want to do business with you. So you're free to go. Where is show me, me your yeah, job. show me, show you're me. You're not her man. Is that huh? right? You're not her man. No, no, I manage uh who she's saying manages her. She wouldn't leave the blue face house, bro. Mm. She's like, I'm not leaving, I'm here, I'm signed. He was like, No, you're not, bro. She uh got she left, but you know, she Krishan. She started selling crack on the side and then came back, stole this nigga blue face car, and gave it to her mom. Her, you what the fuck? Told her you loved her. Does that ever make it okay to steal somebody's car and drive it across the country to give it to their mom? That alone, I just want to pause. I want yeah, everybody to pause. Is this, bro? Stop for a second. Nah, that I ain't know all this. Is insanity. This is wild. For you to leave a game show or a, or a reality show, and you immediately say, "Hey, man, I need to go sell crack." She got caught doing it too. Got I know, it? I, and yeah, her. <laughs> she got. She was it. doing it in the G wagon. She yeah, stole. yeah. Now this is where things get aggressive. This is where the physicality comes into play. Now, I, I personally, I don't know how <clears throat> he's getting like tied back to her because at that point, that should have been it. Like, in my opinion, like I'd be like, all right, cool, cool, cool. You selling car, you selling crack. You done? Yo, you should really be in jail right now. All right, be she was so, wigging, bro. You should just be straight in jail. But Blueface, I don't know if he loves the toxicity. He believes that she. Brian about to watch all this how, shit. How <laughs> connected she is, but at that point, I think he probably made a mistake because they just been getting physical back and forth. There's videos of them like outside getting to physical altercations. Videos of um, Blueface inside his house saying, but you hitting me. <laughs> Yo, up and I live with that stuff. First of all, the, the, the video, the picture on the left, this nigga looks nuts. The picture on the right, this nigga is fucked up. You feel me? This nigga is fucked up. I look like this and I'm still hanging with ah uh, ah. Uh, I'm out, my nigga. Two black eyes is crazy. It's crazy, bro. Regardless of who incited the fight, bro, get out of that, my nigga. Y'all niggas is crazy. For entertainment purposes, don't tell me you really love nothing. Niggas that really love you ain't doing shit. And look. Da, 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 da. Um, it, it, it escalated without a doubt when um they were pulling each other hair and Blueface got hit over the head with the Hennessy bottle. I'm getting my glass off. Hennessy bottle is crazy, bro. Y'all know how destructive. I'm getting it out. Look, you gotta lay it all out when you're here. Boxes, He's tight it. right now, nigga. And at first they were like, "Oh, it's all right, like it's cool." But he's what? And they're blacking out. They had to call the ambulance. It's actually pretty, pretty crazy, insane, actually. And it hasn't got better since, man. It hasn't ah, bro. Since. It hasn't, man. It's These niggas like a wild, bro. Disregard between the both of them for like anything that's not just like unadult. Yo, you know what's crazy too? For them to be doing this shit in this climate, you feel me? In such a PR-based climate, bro. For them to be doing shit like this and getting away with it, like nobody going to jail, crazy, like. Niggas not being canceled, bro. They are literally back and forth. This is what I'm saying, bro. That, <laughs> never mind. 
played it just <coughs> niggas get canceled toxic. for anything yeah. and like and I, I can't even like when someone t- like now the definition of toxic has changed bro mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. it used to be like you could just gaslight someone a couple times mm-hmm. or you you're toxic genuine or just like tell white lies and that's slightly toxic but they have taken the definition of toxic to such a brand new level this woman has tattooed this nigga's face like five times all over her body Word. from her fucking pelvis that says jonathan's yeah. Yeah, that's so, why. So we right, know come on, her nigga. neck to all, really all around her body. Yeah, I wonder what happens she when she like wakes up and realizes like, yo, I was wild. She's in like these. She even twinning them for sure. Every three months, this nigga's putting out a tweet saying he's packing her up and they end up getting back together. And every week, there's some new news story about a new physical altercation. Whether it was like uh, Blueface interacting with her dad and Blueface told her dad to his face like, oh, you taught her to hit men like that? Or something like that. You taught her to be physical yeah. like that? You could argue she had a horrible upbringing. You could argue argue a lot of this shit is rooted in trauma from her childhood and shit like that and all of that could be true all of that yes. does not excuse you immediately being the evil that you saw growing up because there's a certain level of growth you just have to go through and it's difficult in this part of life and who knows like what that looks like for her but like that's not an excuse for you to smack niggas in the back of the head with a bottle it just isn't i think what's getting worse is that like it's spilling beyond just them two so again facts family situation then she came she came over here and threw a chair in a wall and kai is like yo what's going on and looked at blue face and blue face was like time to work yeah, this, nah, this video was crazy. Whoa, my bad, Chad. Wait, you put a hole in my wall. You rich. You can fix it. This nigga just looking, bro. God, you just put a hole in my wall. Look that right there. That's a video game. This nigga talking about it. Yo, when I seen this video, I reacted to this. When I seen this video, bro, I said, yo, these niggas is tripping, bro. These niggas is tripping. Yeah. Oh, this bitch lie. Nah, oh, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. I'm wildin'. Oh, shit. Yo, nah, she not that, my nigga. My fault. My fault, my fault, my fault. Don't care. I'm wildin'. I'm wildin'. Chill, 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 chill. My fault. What game? Grand Theft Auto? It's a custom game. Yeah, he's tight. I'll be tight too. <laughs> These niggas laugh. Do that to, to call Airbnb like that. Airbnb. Airbnb. This is my house. <laughs> the fuck if I have a billion dollars or two dollars, nigga. You put a hole in my wall, I'm gonna be equally upset. It is what it is. It's just the way it is, it's man. What it is. That's what why you do that to us, Airbnb? She's she crazy, man. <laughs> and, and through all of this, like, of course, both of them take responsibility for it, but it's not equal. Like, this, though, she is. Yes, nigga, fuck it being equal, bro. These niggas is this. wild, bro. Fucked up plenty. No, 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 but do they take responsibility? No, 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 they don't, but they should. Okay, what I'm okay, trying to okay, say. Okay, okay. Ads on YouTube must be yeah, yeah, so bro, annoying. Bro, 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 bro. Y'all pissing me you off. Yeah. An How you gonna have an ad on top of the ad? Step- she off that Hennessy, man. You know, this was. Yo, when I seen this, like, I thought this was crazy. This is wild. She threw the. broke the TV. This bitch strong as shit. Oh, right, yo. She, Wait, just, my hey, fault, my like, fault, my fault. Like, just She's add, wild strong. Add, just add even more to it, bro. She's pregnant. She's saying it's his. He's saying And he's saying she been with 10 niggas. On top of that, I saw a clip of her bragging about uh, three different abortions he done had previously. Like, the way she said it was yeah. like borderline like sociopathic. She's like, yeah, I just killed him. I have a baby. I'm keeping it this time. Jesus. Right, she's not in I the I killed mind. like three of them. Okay, Krishan, wait. What? I'm ready now. She don't even realize. You know, you always have that bad feeling like, mm, it's not right. It's not the right time. Mm-hmm. You think it's the right time now? Mentally, I don't I even wouldn't think. mind if but it was right now. But do you right think now. it's the right time? Yeah. You think it's the right time? No, I need a ring, but you're right. All right. I swear. Yeah, I d- mentally, bro. Like, mentally, mentally, mentally. She is, she, is, she is off. Both of them are off, but mentally she is... She's done, bro. She's she's wild. Like it just didn't matter to her. We and he's in like it. encouraging. The internet is encouraged. I, I and say, then I she's encouraging. Okay, so this, exactly. this, so, there's, there's so many things to take away. All right, first, yes, they're they're toxic. It's a relationship that shouldn't really exist, and it's so fascinating how this stuff unfolds on the internet. And genuinely, I don't think any anybody cares anymore. No, like it's just like it's you entertainment just at this point, my nigga. From two individuals, and it's just like, what's next? Like y'all, y'all just ask for what's next. So, but also like, look, it's kind of like when you're when you're listening to music and you're like, damn, it's just one archetype of artist. Like especially in rap, like each male artist is this way and each female artist is this way. 
Well, that's because that's what sells the best. So, you know, when you want to commercialize a product, regardless of what it is, they can literally be a human could be the thing you're trying to commercialize. So you want to do the thing that sells the best. So everyone just ends up being the kind of the same. But this is the craziest part. This is like, I feel like the craziest shit to like indulge in or like, like push out as far as like entertainment. You feel me? This shit is nothing. This is definitely destructive. This is, it's no positive, like positive outcome from the shit that's going on with this. And on that note, you feel me? I ain't gonna say too much after that, but man, I don't really want to see too much of this. I don't really speak too much more of this, bro. I just hope that both of them niggas seek out the help that they deserve and they find happy happiness and uh humility because this ain't it, Patch. This shit ain't it, man. That's all I'm gonna say.